Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Krosama. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Gundam Universe Barbados. And I am just... I am not excited about this whatsoever because it looks absolutely horrible. And I, I, I already knew. I knew it from the get-go. I was like, just taking a look at it. It just it did not resonate with me whatsoever. I think the proportions look off, the shoulders, torso, every single thing looks disgusting. Now I'd like to thank NewTypeHQ.com for sponsoring this video. Honestly, without them, I wouldn't be able to do a lot of the quality work I can do on this channel, um, you know, whether it be props or anything else. So definitely go check out their website and you can use that promo code Krosama so that way you can get 10% off. So let's get on to the review. Now we'll take a look at the details. Ugh, it's, to me it doesn't look pretty. Nothing about this screams like, oh my god, this is top quality work. It just looks really bland. Um, and I can start with the head. The head just looks off. I don't know why, but it does not look good in any kind of way, shape, or form. And for the shoulders, they are just not looking good. I mean, the kind of looks design of it isn't bad. But it's just odd, like it's a lot of angles and it's just just oversized. Like why did they go ahead and do that to my poor Barbados? It just, it looks out of place and even the arms are just, I don't know, they don't, they don't look crisp. They don't look as good as like the high grade. Now for the body, it just looks off. I mean, the midsection does not have a lot of the exposed uh, inner frame, nor is it raised. It just, I don't know, it looks kind of short and chubby. So, I, yeah, I, I'm not really digging any of this, like, proportions or design choices. The waist, for the most part, looks okay. And your backpack is not going to have any kind of articulation, so it's really just going to be a set piece. And now we're coming up to the legs. Honestly, I'm not impressed at all. It just, the articulation, the movement, the kind of, like, sharpness of the knees, everything looks just bland it looks unimpressive and I'm just I'm not really digging this at all now the price point of this thing is going to be roughly around $25 um, I picked it up for about 22 and I think even at that price I probably should have saved that that money and just got something else now something I want to talk about is going to be its articulation it is very lackluster and the foot <laughs> I have to put it in this kind of angle so that way I can get it in this pose, but I'm telling you, the, the articulation is just not there. The knees are just horrible, the you know, hip joints are horrible, arms for the most part aren't really too bad, but there's like, it's just everything's limited. You can still kind of pull off decent poses such as this, but I'm just telling you, you're really not going to be getting anything worthwhile, especially in the ankles. Those ankles are just, it's atrocious. It, it, it's just ugly. I, I hate the way this thing just moves. I hate the way it looks. Um, yeah, the articulation is horrible. Now for accessories, you are gonna be getting closed fists for both hands, as well as open hands for both of them. All right, let's talk about the mace now. So I would say the top of it looks actually pretty good. I don't really mind that whatsoever. But when you come down here, the entire base is going to be very short. I don't see why they couldn't just make it a little bit longer, but yeah, it's it's not going to be that long. Um, so that's probably my only big gripe about this weapon, but the top of it is really big and actually looks pretty nice. Now next is going to be the long sword. So it's okay, it was a pain in the ass to get into the actual hand, but, you know, I really don't have any gripes with it. I think it looks okay. Now, that's going to be the last accessory. I really wish that it came with, like, maybe the smoothbore weapon. That would have been amazing. But, you know, I, I think even no matter how many weapons or accessories this thing would have came with, I probably still would have been greatly disappointed. Because, uh, really, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's not it. Now, there's not much else I can really say about this thing. Uh, it's just... I don't know. It's not what I really wanted. It's it's really bad, and you know it comes in a clear packaging, so I could see exactly what I was getting. But even then, I was just like, eh, I'm gonna get it just to at least review it, because you know I don't think many people are gonna be reviewing this anyways. Uh, maybe one or two more people uh, in, in the English speaking community that is. 
but yeah, I and I, I this is one of those like buyer's remorse if I ever like known one. So yeah, this is something don't purchase. I, I usually try not to tell people how to spend the money. If you really want to go ahead and get it, definitely. But um, I'm telling you right now, if you really love Barbados as much as I do, you're just not going to be happy. Now, before I go, I do want to mention the, I guess, drastic change in the review style. Um, so, definitely to no surprise, I took a lot of inspiration from Type V3, as well as It's a Gumpla, but I didn't want to use any hangers. I have a bunch of different types of hangers from different companies, and I was like, you know, I could throw it all together, start painting it and all that. But I was like, man, I really don't want to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just build a giant town. <laughs> I don't know of many people that do uh, reviews with you know towns and little you know miniatures and all that. Um, so this is definitely just a starting point. This this entire set right here, um, excluding like the buses and the people uh, and the buildings, all of this was um, about fifty, no, sixty dollars. It was, uh, it was a little bit cheaper because some of the parts are um, broken. That's why you don't see like the traffic lights right now because I'm trying to repair them. Um, but I bought like the little miniature people and I bought the little 7-Eleven down there because, you know, you, you need a convenience store if you're going to have a city. Uh, but yeah, I got the little buildings right there. Some of these buildings I bought from Tokyo and I have no idea how to get them. So like these two in particular, I bought those in Tokyo, uh, which I do need to paint. And yeah, I just have no idea uh, where to find those at. So I'm gonna keep the the boxes and you know try and look for those products a little bit later on online. Um, but yeah, so this is just a train set kind of like piece. I, I don't I don't know what you would call the little electric train stuff. But yeah, I, I'm probably gonna actually set up a train station here uh, and actually run an electric train during the reviews. I thought. I thought that'd be a pretty cool idea, but you know, let me know what y'all guys think. If you want to see this, just keep evolving. You know, let me know if this is the direction that you would like to see with this channel. Um, definitely not going to be every single video because if I'm, you know, reviewing a Figma of a person or something that is just not a large scale mecha, I'm going to have to use a normal backdrop because it would make no sense in this, you know, city area. Uh, I'm also going to change the backdrop a little bit. The blue is fine, but I'm going to have to put some um, some town kind of like. I don't know make some depth to it you know it looks just plain looks really weird and uh, I'm gonna build this thing up man I'm gonna build it and it's going to look much much better but yeah that's pretty much it guys so uh, I'll be building up my equipment I, I still only have about three months here and then I'm gonna be going to the States for about two months uh, so I'll be back after that so in the meantime I'll just be building this up and then uh, continue on when I get back in March so that's it for me guys definitely uh, appreciate all of you for watching and if you do want to pick this up for whatever reason or just pick up any other model kit or figure tool supplies definitely hit up newtypehq.com so that's it for me I'll be seeing y'all in the next review bye bye